What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And if you own a PS4, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to play your PS4 with remote play on an Android device. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. Now this may be nothing new to Sony Xperia phone or tablet owners as they've had access to remote play features for some time now, but to those of us who don't have an Xperia device, this is pretty exciting. The guys over at the XDA Developers Forum always seem to find a way to take features from one device and make it accessible to everyone. In a thread by forum member the Script Kitty, you can find the APK to Sony's remote play app. I'll of course have links down below in the description to the APK file as well as the forum post in case you guys want to check it out. The forum post will give you all the information you need to get this up and running on your device as well as a list of confirmed working devices as not all of them are going to support this. There are different ways to install it but I find that the simplest way is to download it directly to your device and install it from there. Once installed, like any other remote play device, you'll have to sync it up with your PS4. You'll want to be on the same Wi-Fi network as the PS4 to get everything set up and actually use the app. But I believe there have been some reports of people actually using this with their carrier data, and unfortunately, I'm not one of those people. Once you actually start playing, you'll be quite surprised at how easy it is to use the app. The entire button layout is directly on the screen of your device, so you'll have access to your D-pad, action buttons, joystick, L and R triggers, and even your touchpad. If playing while all the buttons are on your screen takes away from your fun, you can always put the device in portrait mode and have your buttons displayed under your screen. Only issue here is that you have a much smaller screen to work with, but honestly with the size of phones today, I found it more than acceptable. I've been testing out the feature with my Nexus 6 and Nexus 7, and even a Galaxy S5. And I've gotta say guys, playing your PS4 on a device that has nothing to do with Sony is pretty freaking cool. Because the only options right now to access remote play is from an Xperia device, PlayStation Vita, or even a PlayStation TV. Now performance is of course very dependent on your data speeds, but if the requirements for this is anything like Sony's already stated numbers, you'll need about 5 megabits down to play comfortably. Now what I like about this is that you don't need root access to make it work. Now for those of you who don't know what root access is for an Android device, you can pretty much think of it as jailbreaking for an iPhone. You will however need root access if you want to get your game on with a PS4 controller. I don't really root my devices anymore so I haven't tested out this feature yet, but the thread on XA developers goes over how to get that up and running as well. I really enjoyed playing some of my favorite PS4 games on my Android phone and it just baffles me what Android devices can do nowadays. But that's about it for this video guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy that gives this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content from me. And until the next video guys, it's your average consumer. Peace.